Hey guys, Azu Panda back again. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for like, share, comments on the earlier videos. Today's video is going to be a little different because uh, recently, uh, first of all, I like to thank a special, very sub special subscriber from Zone Boto. Uh, he ended up asking me a question, uh, not on YouTube but on my Facebook, uh, <clears throat> about uh, knowing how much it would cost. Probably him and his wife are taking a trip, probably from uh, Gujarat to. All the way to Nagaland, so he wanted to probably understand what is the cost behind travel if you are traveling by road. <clears throat> Now that made me wonder that you know uh, if you actually go to YouTube and you look at uh, travel vloggers and all, nobody usually mentions the how much does it cost. Right? They'll go to uh, they'll go to a place, they'll do a hotel review and say you know what this is usually what it costs, and I booked it through Booking. dot com or so on and so forth, and you can go on and check. No, now we always like to know what. Uh, what uh, it would be in in real life scenario where you know uh, <clears throat> how much is the fuel going to cost how much is the stay going to cost how much would you spend on food because nobody tells you this they say oh wow this is yummy food right wow and they'll say oh yeah yeah this is a lovely lovely place to say okay now the few things that i like to do before before travel is first and foremost is uh see i got my white board okay So first thing is your fuel cost. Then is your stay. Then comes uh, food and by drinks I mean non-alcoholic beverages. I do not advise you to drink and drive. Not safe. And lastly is service and repair. Yes, you always have to be mindful about uh, because you. Taking a vehicle, anything can happen. And one cost uh, of travel is toll. Okay, so toll uh, usually, uh, if you uh, uh, on Google Maps search from uh, uh, a particular distance to another public particular distance, you will be able to understand how much the toll is. It will give you a rough idea. That okay, it's uh, from point A to point B. So if you if you search from say Ahmedabad to all the way to Dimapur, Google Maps usually gives you uh, a toll amount these days. So yes, be mindful of that. But then again, you never know. Um, always make sure that you know uh, you have a fast tag, a valid fast tag which is working, uh, which is already there on your vehicle. So if you do not have a fast tag, don't wait the wait for the very last minute. So we, we we I'll do that this in a, a later. Uh, later in the video but right now we'll just talk about the cost so first and foremost is toll secondly is your fuel okay now fuel cost is uh if you if you to uh chart a route through google maps it will actually tell you your approximate distance so uh your total distance then uh, if you know what your uh, car gives you as a normal average Most of the car cars have a heads up display of the average they usually give. So you people usually have a good idea how much their uh, car is giving per liter and so on and so forth. So yeah, so distance uh, uh, divided by uh, your kilometers per liter, right? Multiplied by approximate fuel fuel cost per liter. So right? So. that will uh, usually end up giving you approximately uh, <clears throat> how much it will cost you on this journey minimum it i, I have never I, whatever my estimate is it has never been uh, less than that estimate it has been either that estimate or more right so yeah because fuel prices keep fluctuating and usually they do not come down they usually only go up so um, total distance so if you are traveling say 3000 kilometers and uh, your car gives you an average of say 15 kilometers a liter so total distance divided by 15 multiplied by say if the petrol is right now 96 rupees a liter across most of the state so multiplied by 96 it will give you that cost of 18 90 20 1000 rupees whatever that you will have to pay as few <clears throat> now if you are uh, traveling with friends obviously this cost gets divided uh then comes the stay right so the as i mentioned stay so now 
uh, with stay, it all depends upon where you choose to stay. In, in certain places, like I've seen, there are not many pla- many many choices. So you uh, basically you choose the same thing that everybody else is choosing, hmm. and you have to make sure that where, no matter where you are staying, it should uh, not be very very off the highway. So you don't have to travel extremely off the highway to reach your play, night halt. Make sure that it is somewhere near the highway, but at the same point of time, make sure that it has something in and around. It should not be completely in, you know, uh, secluded place, uh, place where you know there is. Yar, koi jata nahi, koi jata nahi. Ha, hun ki kariye. So no, 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 no. So you have to stay in a place where, uh, yes, if something happens, there should be somebody who can help you out. So I'd like to uh, also mention that when you are traveling like this on the highway. Uh, trust everyone, but trust no one. What what I mean by that is, if you if you need help, and if you're lucky, probably every person that you'll meet through your journey will help you. But then again, uh, if you're unlucky, you'll meet that first very bad experience, and then you'll be like, okay. So don't put yourself in a situation where you might need somebody else's help. So <clears throat> check your tire pressure. Check your check your. Uh, Temperature and pressures in your car. You get it serviced if you are taking a long trip. Okay, so get basic minimum. So this is also cost service cost as I mentioned. This is also a cost before even before your travel has started, right? So you uh, because see, please understand. Uh, usually, if we are driving a car, mostly in the cities, uh, we might think yes, oh yeah, I do regular service, this and that. I'll give you an example. uh i had done regular service regular service and one day when i ended up taking a long trip my car broke down because of overheating and i realized that they never end up ended up topping up the coolant and i asa theek hai yaar coolant theek hai so theek nahi hai check your coolant levels check your um brake fluid levels check your if your car, uh, car or uh, suv has hydraulic steering please check your hydraulic steering fluid because what happens if your steering fluid like we are not used to those strong we don't have muscular arms anymore to do that big steerings like we used to do earlier like we are very used to just using one finger and so on and so forth anyway so check that always check uh, you know always check your tires and what i mean by that is that see in case you uh, have an extremely inflated tire it will be your ride will be bumpy and it will affect your average in case you have a very deflated tire yes your ride might become comfortable but then again your average will go down you will burn petrol or diesel like anything so keep that in mind because right now we are talking about cost first uh, food and drinks right uh, mostly uh, when uh, me and my wife Uh, I shouldn't say me and my wife, right? A lot of people correct that. My wife and I. Okay, so when my wife and I travel, usually what we ended up uh, we end up doing is we carry a lot of fluids with us. Why am I saying this? You don't have to take a chance of uh, switching uh, too much of because see, if you get a bad stomach while you are on the way midway, now if what if you have to get hospitalized, so on and so forth. See, so. don't take chances and uh, another thing that we i think uh, during the corona period everybody had started carrying their you know what do you call uh, uh, sanitizers which we don't anymore no please carry your sanitizer you never know you're touching the steering you're ch- touching tire you're doing something you don't have, obviously end up get, washing your hands all the time right so yes carry your sanitizers uh, another thing is that uh, please decide well before your travel begins okay uh, how much would you be able to drive through a day see i'm not saying you can drive 500 kilometers every day and you can travel uh, 300 kilometers you can do 1000 kilometers a day see what i've realized is if you are sitting in your car behind the wheel for about 8 to 10 hours your mind after a point of time becomes numb you know you you'll start making mistakes so don't do that so uh, divide your and please uh, youtube is a very helpful platform where you can actually uh, because i a recent trip uh, going from uh, uh, padodra to uh, what do you call it pune 
uh, I was able to realize what the road conditions are from here to Mumbai by watching somebody else's video. So watch if people are traveling through that distance. So divide like okay, if you're traveling from say uh, Ahmedabad to Indore, uh, you're traveling from Ahmedabad all the way to Bhimapur. You check what is, what is your first leg of the say if it's Ahmedabad from Indore from Ahmedabad to Indore. Check if somebody has recently done that thing. So multiple videos or you search for the road conditions. Because usually the news on road conditions is very bad. Because uh, no news channel, nobody actually, you know, government does not inform. Nobody informs you what the what's happening. And you cannot basically end up calling the local police station and asking, hey, sir, sir, how is it? No, no, no. So, yes, check your road conditions, check your car, because that is your, your car, your SUV, that is the your best buddy. Now, Having said that, few things that you should see. I'm a very competitive person, and I used to like driving fast here and there, right? But then again, when you're doing such a long journey, you cannot do speeding. Do not get into these small competitions with people. Uh, somebody wants to do that, let them pass, please, because you have your journey is longer. It's not that one destination. You have to reach your final destination, uh, and it's multiple segments. Take for instance, you are a very good driver and you beat everybody in that ra uh, road rage race, right? But you, you're, uh, you ended up screwing up your uh, suspension or you you cracked your alloy wheels or one of your tires has busted, now what? One, it adds you to, to the cost. Two, it can add to injury. Three, it can cause a delay. So think about it. So just don't be reckless, right? So I do. And you'll realize this, the moment you travel long distance on the highways, people who travel long distance on the highways are the most sober drivers, the most gentle drivers. They do not do not flash this, that that meme of Creta drivers, right? Creta drivers going nuts. You will realize, even if you see Creta drivers, you will realize that this Creta driver probably draw, drives for a longer distance and this guy is just basically doing Hops between villages or cities, town cities, because he'll be so well, he'll not be honking the one earlier, he'll not be honking and all that. So please take care of that. Do not get into competitions, right? Uh, especially if you're traveling with women and children, uh, you have to understand that they have certain needs, they need uh, good washrooms, so be mindful of that. Right? It's like you can probably hold it for four hours. They can't. So make sure that you, right? You don't want something like that happening. So, so yeah, so take care of that. So be mindful of your co-passengers. Another thing is, if you have a co-passenger who, uh, if you like to talk a lot, you should probably have a co-passenger who likes to be a good listener, who listens a lot. If you know, you end up having an argument. <laughs> if you like to have arguments while you're driving, don't do that, right? Because, you know, you might lose focus and your focus is basically reaching your destination. So, to sum it up again, I'll mention cost. So, your fuel cost is one. Your cost of service and uh, what will it cost for your vehicle to reach a particular destination, that is also a cost. Cost of stay. Cost of stay depends upon which place you choose to stay. Somebody can stay in a five star, somebody can. So please go through booking.com, search particular particular places that are available. I'm not saying uh, booking.com, you can do make my trip, whatever. Google, right? So that is another thing. Uh, keep a daily budget of how much you would like to spend on food and drink. So that will help you budget your trip much better. And you know, once you reach, uh, you will uh, probably not reg regret and you would probably enjoy Right, so a lot of people uh, do not end up traveling or taking a chance traveling on the road because they think one, it's unsafe. How much will I spend? Where will I stay? This, that, and the other. So yes, please do not plan it as one long trip. Plan it as four or five short trips, and that will probably make it much more worthwhile. So I hope this information helps somebody. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Please mention in comment section if there is something there else that you would like to know. And if I can probably answer that, I'll definitely like to do that. But again, then again, thanks for watching. Keep watching. Until next time, Oshi Kimti. Tawa.